Ó. What is this? Oh, that's why I've seen little pellets. Y'all are playing on my lawnmower. up here oh Ruby thank you I had an itch right there yeah oh yeah that feels good oh yes right there I got you this one here this is Ruby's little girl she is timid she is the most timid one out of all of them. Isn't that right? She is the littlest one. Hmm. So I'm gonna hold her for a little bit because she is a very hard one to catch. And while I'm holding her, we'll just Watch the rest of them. Play on the lawnmower. They're all hanging out. You wanna go play? Hmm? This one. What are you two doing? What are you two doing? Oh, that's the little boy. That's Mr. Blue Eyes right there. He's so handsome. He is so handsome. Let her play with the rest of them. Oh, you're gonna fall. You're gonna fall. What are you doing? Oh, you guys are crazy. Wild children. Hey friends, my name is Jennifer. You're watching Moreau Family Farm. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the channel today. Ah, the little babies. All the babies are growing so nicely. They're so healthy. And some of them just turned eight weeks old today, actually. Um, but nobody has a home yet. So hopefully we don't get stuck with all of these babies. Um, but if we do, we do. <laughs> Uh, no, we won't. Uh, I just really haven't been like actively advertising them constantly. I am advertising a little bit, just not 
like constantly. Um, but the little bottle babies would be this little guy here and this little girl. They turned eight weeks old today. And then in a couple of days, um, this little boy, this little girl, and this little boy will be eight weeks old. Um, I think like on Saturday. Today is Thursday. So it's just in a couple of days. And then Ruby's little babies, that one and the other little girl that has her face up in the um, the minerals right now, they will be eight weeks old. I think they're like a week after, if I remember correctly. I'll have to double check my, um, hi Ruby, hi. I'll have to double check my calendar, but I'm pretty sure they are a week difference. And let's check in on the baby babies. So Hazel's still in here with her two little babies. They're sleeping. Hey, babies. Babies. Oh, my gosh. The triplets. They're getting so big. So, so big. Hi. They're almost full-size chickens. Almost. Not quite, but they're getting there. They're very cute. I wish they would wake up. What are you guys sleeping for? Oh, there they go. Now they'll wake up. Hi, babies. Hi. The babies, come here. They are not people-friendly yet. They're only, what, two days old, so... Um, yeah, we got to give them a little bit of time. They're all a little nervous in the beginning. But they are super, super cute. And we really don't need the heat lamp on. But uh, this one here is a little bit bigger than that one. But they're both growing very nicely. They're filling out. They're getting plenty of milk. Now, Hazel's udder is a little lopsided. But nothing to be, like, super concerned with, I don't believe. Ah, it's so hard to see it. She will never sit still. Unless I put her up on the milk stand, she will not let me see her back end. That is for sure. But let's get one of these little babies. Come here. Ooh, come here, baby. I oh, hope she just... Oh, you're okay, baby. So this is one. And let me see. Come on, it's alright, it's alright. Super, super cute. Look at her. Look at all that white. She's pretty. I like her coloring. She's really, really pretty tricolor. Oh, it's okay. Let me get this other one really quick. And this one is definitely... Look at the rings around her eyes. They are so cute. She's got little rings on her eyes. Yeah. She also has some nice patches of white on both sides. As you can see, she's got white back here and on the other side. And she's got little boots. Here, you can go back. They're doing so good. Yeah. I want to see them um, nursing one from each side. So she does not like them nursing from the right side for some reason. I'm not quite sure exactly why. But she doesn't like it. Oh my goodness, God bless you. Sheesh. So have to keep an eye on that. We might have to put her up on the stand and let them nurse on her um, and hold her still. That way, oh, she's like, you're going to what? What are you going to do to me? You want to put me up on the stand? Well, something has to happen. So I have um, expressed milk from that teat. So I am not sure why she doesn't want them nursing from that side. But something's going on with the right side of her udder for sure. So I've got to figure out what is going on there. But the reason why I really 
wanted to come on and do a video for you guys today is because I have some amazing news. I had to get out of that bright sun. My eyes, since every time I wear my glasses, my eyes are extremely sensitive. But my eyes have really been bothering me lately. Even with my contacts in, then I take them out. And then they're just really sensitive again. So, honestly, I'm probably going to have to go to the eye doctor and get some antibiotics. But I'm hesitant to go to the doctor. I hate going to the doctor. I hate spending money on myself for that kind of stuff. I'd rather spend it on the kids. Which, speaking of that, we just came back um, from the eye doctor yesterday. And Zion has to wear glasses now. So, um, we did an eye exam for Zion an eye exam for Alexia. Alexia has a little bit um, of a higher prescription in one eye, which is good. It was just one eye and not both. And uh, that was to be expected. I've been in glasses since I was eight years old. So unfortunately, I knew that both of my kids were probably going to need them. And Antonio also wears glasses. So uh, it's kind of inevitable that they would also be in glasses. Anyways, um... Yeah, I have some really, really good news that I want to share with you guys, and I am so relieved. Like, I am beyond excited to share this news with you, and I'm just waiting for them to come up so I can talk about them, but once they get up here, I'll give you the good news. Be nice. I said yes. You be nice. Feisty. Feisty mama. Whenever they come running all the way like that from me calling them, they get a nice big treat. But I've got to be quick because i got some really pain in the big butts over here. So that's their treat. That's their treat for coming running when I called them. And now everybody thinks it's dinner time. It is not dinner time. Not yet. All right, it's not dinner time yet. We're getting there. All right, so just want to let you guys know that not only is Daisy pregnant, but I actively felt easy Daisy, it's just me. There is definitely a baby in there. Oh yeah, I can feel all that movement right here at the bottom. Oh, she just whacked me with her tail. She's like, no you don't. No you don't. Typically, um, oh my. Do I see a little udder forming on Abby as well? Be. It might be very possible that Abby's pregnant also. But Daisy is definitely pregnant. Daisy is definitely pregnant. Her udder is starting to fill up a little bit. She's starting to form an udder. I've noticed she's had some discharge behind her lately. And today... I've definitely felt that baby. She was laying down, actually all three of them were laying down in the grass. So I just went up next to her and that baby kicked the heck out of me. And I was like, holy mackerel. So I am so over the moon. We have been waiting over a year to get her pregnant. And yeah, she is definitely, definitely pregnant. I'm so happy. I think Abby might be pregnant too. 
So I really think that both my girls are pregnant. Look, can you see? Look at her belly. She looks pregnant. I really think they are both pregnant. Hey, Abby. Abby. Abigail. Abigail. Oh, my. Yeah, so, anyways, it's time to start making sure that they get plenty of grain. So, I'm actually going to make sure that they get some grain again tonight at feeding time. And, um, going to give them uh, some selenium and vitamin E gel. Just to be on the safe side. And I've got all the other stuff that I need for them. So that's good. You know, oh my gosh. Y'all, it has warmed up today and it's like 70 degrees. And of course, the first thing that comes out are the gnats and the flies. Um, I'm hoping we do get more colder weather because I don't like this gnat and fly time of the year. Um, especially when animals are being born and stuff like that. I do prefer the weather to be not freezing temperatures for sure, but definitely cool it's better, especially in this area of South Georgia where the gnats are ridiculous. Um, it's easier to have babies born when there's less bugs in the air. It keeps them cleaner, healthier, stuff like that. So uh, what we've decided we're gonna do, getting back to the cows and how we're gonna handle this is we are going to put Daisy and Abby in this pasture here and um, now I'm not a hundred percent sure yet on Abby I might wait to put her in there I might just put Daisy in there because I know for sure that if I'm feeling kicking she's got to at least be seven or eight months pregnant because that's how long it takes before you can actually feel baby baby movement um, so she's gonna have to go in this pasture for sure because I'm hoping she'll use that to have her baby and you know the other day I was thinking I'm like man I really feel like maybe she's pregnant it's a really good possibility it's a good possibility that she can have her baby at any moment because to be honest with you when she had Abby her udder did not fill up like huge and full so uh, I don't know, it's definitely, we'll keep an eye on her udder to see how big her udder gets, but she was not a huge milker. Hi. You're being feisty today. You're all being feisty. Is it the warmer weather? Huh? Are you guys all being feisty because of the, is it because of what's in your belly? Do you have something in your belly? Huh? Can you stop licking for a second so I can feel if there's anything? Uh, uh, easy, easy girl. Those horns, those horns gotta go. Oh, you just wanna be scratched. Gosh, you're such a big baby. You are such a big baby. Is that another tick? I gotta put some tick control on these girls cause she's had a few ticks lately. I've been popping ticks off of her. Huh. Yeah. You're such a baby. You are such a baby. You gonna fall asleep on me? <laughs> you gonna close your eyes, huh? Well, I told you guys the other day when I was sitting with her in the grass that I could have sworn I felt something moving in her. But yeah, the other day when she was laying in the grass, when Abby was laying in the grass, man, I could have sworn that I felt something move, but I wasn't 100% sure if what I was feeling was just me wanting to feel something moving or if there really wasn't. Why are you so feisty today? You got itchies on your butt? I scratch your butt for you. You don't want me to scratch your butt? Okay. Fine, I won't scratch your butt. 
Yeah, I'm telling you, I think they're both pregnant. Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant too? Huh, little mama? Man, I hope so. That would be awesome. Awesome. Don't you think? Don't you think it would be awesome, Abby? Yeah. I have a bunch of babies running around here. Babies everywhere. In the house. Outside the house. Yeah. That'd be good. Fun. We love babies. You're going to give me the littlest baby in the world, aren't you? Yeah, everybody loves little babies. Everybody loves a little baby. Hmm. Oh, yes. See, so, now that she's not eating, she's not worried about me touching her udder. But, you know, with cows... Oh, but, all right, easy now. Ha -ha. Easy. Stop. You gotta touch their udder, get them used to touching them. Um, but I think there was a tick on her udder. That's why she got a little feisty. I'm sorry. I am sorry. You're a good dude. Did you just find out that you're going to be a daddy? I, I, I don't trust you. Not when everybody else is feeling feisty. I don't need you feeling feisty with me. All right. You just keep your space, little mister. Mr. Running Man. I'm proud of you, dude. You finally got the job done. How do you feel about that? Actually, honestly, let's get real. It happened to a while back now, but uh, I'm just now finding out, so I'm gonna congratulate you now. Okay? Yeah. You did good. You did good. I'm proud. Very proud of you. I just really wanted to share that news with you because I know I am so super excited. So excited. We are gonna have finally some calves on this property, on this farm, and that's just, that's super exciting. <laughs> so after um, Antonio gets my cabinets put in the house, which he's halfway done, um, that will be revealed shortly. But after he gets the cabinets done, then um, he'll probably work on a head gate, which is super easy. We had a head gate back in Alabama and it was just a really nice head gate that was in the barn. It was a covered head gate. So we'll probably do something like that uh, over here as well. Not quite sure where we're gonna put it. We may put it, hmm, that's a really good question. To be honest with you, Daisy walks really well when you hold her by a, um, a lead. So does Abby. They're they're both very well mannered on a lead. So we'll probably put a head gate, honestly, right in here. That way it'll be a covered area. If it's raining, we're not going to get soaking wet while we're milking. Now we will get wet while we go to get them to bring them to the milk, but we're not going to get wet while milking. So it's not quite the ideal situation. But we may have a couple months. So if we have a couple months to figure this out and there isn't a baby here within the next couple of weeks, then we'll have time to really figure something out that might be a little bit better of a situation. Um, you know, I talked about enclosing this area over here and make a nice big pasture back there. And honestly, I think that's where I'd want the girls to go to calve. Um, but it's not fenced in yet, so it's going to take us a little bit of time to get that area done. We definitely have to start working on the inside of the house a little bit more. We still have the flooring that needs to go in and the sliding glass door that needs to be done. Then 
we can probably start working on the exterior stuff. I told Antonio that I'm not really concerned about the closet doors so much. I prefer having the wood floor down first um, and then we can start doing some odds and ends stuff outside. Then we can start working on the barn doors for the closets and the pantry and stuff like that. Um, but anyways, it's exciting. Isn't that awesome? I'm going to leave you guys with that. And until next time, you guys be blessed. We'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.